Charlie, welcome back to carburetorsandmore.com 832-221-4007 Okay, here we go. Let me get that over there. Can you put that on there when I start it up? Uh, I can try. Okay. Get ready to put it back on there because I can't hold it. Yeah. Let me check for a vacuum here real quick. Okay, go ahead. All right, we're good on there, Charlie. Okay, we got a single barrel with a, I think it's Carter YF. Anyway, this thing had been rebuilt and reassembled incorrectly. We had to do some extensive machine work in there. So it's gonna be a little bit more than the standard $200 rebuild. May go as high as $250, probably less. Anyway, there it is. Oh, did I show you how it started? Did I start it up? Yeah, you started up. Did I start it? Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure. Make sure you make hold sure. it. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put it in here and put a load on it, Charlie, for you. Give it a really good. Get all your big old problem there with all your. Uh, Oh, 350, 400 foot pounds real easy. You were, your complaint was, we saw in your paper, that you were getting uh, fuel running out of the shaft. These shafts are designed with about 7,000s run out, or they'll lock up if they didn't, if they were absolutely airtight. The reason the fuel was running out, because it was... Bl it was excess uh, fuels. Excess fuels were flooding in the interior of the carburetor because it was put together incorrectly, leaving direct fuel from right here straight inside the carburetor, not even being properly run through the metering system. But it runs like a clock now, Charlie. That's why you sent it here. That's why you sent it here. Okay, let's get it out of here and get this guy a bill so he can be happy. <laughs> 